Hi everybody! Today we are going to make our sampler cowl. Oops, sorry about that. And this cowl is a great beginner project. It has all the stitches you're going to need to know in order to do any crochet project in the future. This teaches you how to do how to do a slip knot, how to do a chain, a single crochet, a half double crochet, double crochet, treble, and a double treble. I will also show you how to change yarns and I will show you how to join your piece after you are done. And um, I'll also show you how to weave in your ends. So this is the yarn that I use. I'm using Karen Simply Soft and I was just I just used what I had on hand. It really doesn't take a whole lot of yarn, but I used the autumn red and the charcoal heather and I believe this is heather or light gray, I can't remember. But uh, those are the three colors that I used. I also used, let me see, what is this? An H hook. It's H or five millimeter. And I used my trusty little snip scissors and a tapestry needle. And that is all you need to make this project. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's begin. We start off with a slip knot, and I do have a video on how to make a slip knot and the chain. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and make your slip knot. Insert your hook and pull it up. You don't want your chain to be too tight, otherwise what will happen is you usually um, crochet several rows up, you start crocheting a little looser, and then your first row will be uh, really tight, and so it will throw off the shape of your scarf. So we're going to start here, we're going to chain up 30, which is a yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Let me do it a little bit closer to the camera. You're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. You're going to do this 30 times. Okay, and I'll check back with you when we're done with that. Okay, now you have your 30 chains, and you're going to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then in each chain across. And so this is how we do this. We're going to yarn over and insert on the second chain, not the loop on your hook, not the first one, but the second one. And what you want to do is you want to insert your hook underneath this first loop and the next loop, okay? Then you're going to yarn over and that is from the back to the front. Pull up that loop and then pull. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I yarned over first. Let me do that again. You're going to insert your hook underneath this loop and this loop. Then you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop. You should only have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through both loops. You've made your first single crochet. Okay, make sure at this point it's real easy for your chain to turn upside down. You don't want to look at this side of your chain. You want to look at this side of your chain. These little V's are your stitches and that's the top and that's where you're going to be working. So then the next stitch, insert your hook Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two loops. One more time, you're going to insert your hook through both of those loops, yarn over, pull through, you've got two loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through those two loops. Okay, we're going to continue to do this all the way across until you get to the end. 
and when I'm right before I get to the last one I will catch up to you there okay okay here we go I only have two more stitches to go until I get to the end and I'm wanting to yarn over I'm gonna insert your hook that second to the last one and I didn't quite get it yarn over pull through yarn over pull through three loops two loops on the hook insert your hook again into that very last stitch and you're going to yarn over pull up that loop yarn over and then pull through. You now have 29 stitches all the way across. Okay, so now to do your second row, you are going to chain one, which is a yarn over and pull through. That's it, you chained one. Then you're gonna turn your work so that you can see the back of it. Okay, and this row is gonna be much easier than the first one because you can see where to insert your hook a little bit better. Okay, so you've chained one. You're gonna insert your hook. See that hole right there? And on top you can see your stitches. Insert your hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. We're gonna do this all the way across. I'll show you one more time. Insert your hook. You see that the V stitch up on top, you're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now just continue this process all the way across, all the way across your work, and you are going to continue doing row after row until you make your piece six inches tall. And then at that point, I'm going to show you how to attach new yarn. Okay, I'll check back with you then. See you then. Okay, so here we are at the very end, and I'm going to show you how I choose to um, attach a new yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and do part of this stitch. I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, and pull through the two loops. Now this is where I'm going to, it's going to get a little tricky because I like to use the magic knot and uh, what the magic knot does is it ensures that your work is not going to come apart. No matter how hard you pull it, it's not, it's not going to undo. So what I'm doing right here is I am estimating where I need to put the knot because when once I pull this yarn through I need it to be the new color so to allow for the knot I'm gonna say I need to cut my yarn about right here so this let loop right here the second one that's the last gray you're gonna see okay so let me go ahead and snip that yarn right here Okay, and so that I, it's kind of hard to do a knot when you only have the short of a tail. So let me go ahead and undo the last two stitches. Okay, so now I've got my end of the yarn. And okay, so I'm going to get my new yarn and I'm going to place it over my old yarn. Hold it with my left hand. I'm going to wrap the new yarn around my thumb a couple of times. I do have an explanation on the magic knot. Um, I have a YouTube video on that, so you might want to check that out too. I'm doing it a little quicker right now. So put the tails through your loops. Hold on to your tails and your old yarn, and then you pull on your new yarn. And make sure you tighten that up really good. And you pull it and it just gets tighter and tighter. It's not going to come out. And I go ahead and I snip off these little bits that are right here. Let me get closer here. Let me just snip those off. 
I'm having a hard time seeing here. I'm going to snip that off. Okay. Now you're going to pick up your hook again and you're going to redo those last two stitches. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull the loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up the loop, and your loop is going to be black. And this last stitch is a little loose, but that's okay. Now we're going to chain up two. You want to turn your work around and now we're going to do half double crochets. The way you do half double crochets, you're going to yarn over first. You're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, I'll do that again. Yarn over before you insert your hook. Then you insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. I'm going to do it one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. Okay, and you're going to do this all the way across, and I will catch up with you once we get toward the end. Okay? Okay, so here we are at the end of our row. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through three. And one more time, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. Oops, my yarn is splitting on me. And that is it for the first row of the half double crochet. You're going to yarn, you're going to um, chain up two, and then turn your work. Doesn't that look pretty? And then you're going to do this again for the next row. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through three. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through three. You're going to do this all the way across, and you're going to do, like you did before, six whole inches of the half double crochets. Now we're going to continue doing these six inches for all, every different uh, stitch that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing five different stitches in three different colors and you'll be able to see the difference between the, the stitches once we get all done. So okay, I'll meet you back when we get to the end of this section. Okay, here we are again at the end of our row and we should still have 29 stitches going all the way across and in order to determine how short I need to sorry about that I need to cut my yarn I'm going to go ahead and do the beginning of this stitch so I'm going to yarn over I'm going to insert the hook yarn over pull through and then this is where I want my knot so I'm going to give myself about a quarter of an inch leeway there. Get my scissors and snip. Okay, and I'm going back to um, actually no, I'm going to use my autumn red now. Let's see. And now I can go ahead and take my hook out so I have some room to play with. I'm going to do my magic knot. Put the two tails together. Wrap around your thumb twice and then over the tails the third time. Tuck the tails in. Hold on to your old yarn and your tails, and you 
pull your new yarn. And sometimes it cooperates. Did it cooperate? Yep, I did it. Okay. Now I'll cut off these little tails. Alrighty, so let's get back to our work. going to yarn over these were half double crochet so you're going to yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three and it's a little tricky because the knots there okay then you're going to go ahead and chain up three. Now you're going to turn your work and now we're going to be doing the double crochet, very popular stitch. You're going to be doing quite a lot in your crochet career. So you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So far it's just like the half double crochet. But you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay? Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This is a slightly taller stitch and that's why you're chaining three instead of chaining two. We'll do it one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and I split my yarn. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now continue to do this all the way across and I'll meet you back when you get to the end. Okay, here we are at the end. We've got two more stitches to go. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook, and the last stitch is always a little tricky to get into. It's usually tighter than the others. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then, of course, you're going to chain three. And I split my yarn. And you're going to turn your work. Isn't this pretty? Aren't these colors pretty? They're looking nice. Okay, we're going to continue with our double crochets all the way across on this row and as before for a full six inches. Let me do one or two stitches. You're going to roll, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. And just continue on and I'll meet you back when you get done with this section. Okay, so here we are again at the end of this section. We only have two more sections to go. And I'm going to show you one more time how I did my magic knot. First, I'm going to do the first half of my double crochet so I can determine the length of my, of my yarn, where I need to cut my yarn. So I'm going to say it's about right there. undo the rest of that stitch with the new yarn above the old and I'm going back to the light gray and I'm going to wrap that around twice and then lay it on top of the two tails push the two tails in That 
one went smoothly. This is something I've had to really practice at for quite some time. It is a tricky little knot, but I love it. Okay, snip that off. And we are going to go to the next stitch. Let's go ahead and yarn over. Insert our hook. Drop a loop. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. I think I made it a little short. Let me tighten up this stitch a little bit. And I should have enough yarn. Okay, where's my gray? There's my gray. Perfect. Okay, now this time, instead of yarn, uh, chaining up three, we're going to chain up four. And turn our work, of course. And the only difference between the double crochet and the treble is how many times you wrap your yarn around. So you're going to wrap it around one time, two times. Then you're going to insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. You're pulling through two three times, that's the name treble. Yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And then you'll just keep going just like this, just the same way you did all the other sections, making sure you have six inches in length. And so far, our scarf is looking pretty good. Let me back up a little bit. We've got the light gray, the dark gray, the burgundy color. Now we're going back to the light gray. And then after that, I'm going to go back to the charcoal gray and join them together. So let's just continue with our trebles, making sure it measures six inches. And I'll meet you back at the end of this section. Okay, so here we are at the end of this section. And we're going to go ahead and complete these last two stitches. Yarn over twice, insert your hook. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. One more time. Now this is the one where we're going to attach our yarn, so we're not going to go all the way through. So we're going to yarn over twice, insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, this last one is where we're going to need the new collar. Okay, so these are my last two loops. I'm gonna want my knot right here. So I'm gonna say about right there is where I need to snip my yarn. Get my scissors. Alrighty. All for you, light gray. Get my charcoal. It's actually called charcoal heather. We're going to do our magic knot one more time. Wrap over your thumb two times. Yarn over over the tails. Push the tails through the two loops. Hang on to those tails and your old yarn while you slowly pull your new yarn. And let's see if it's going to cooperate with me. And it did. Okay, there we go. And we want to snip off our little ends here. And go ahead and finish that last stitch. So yarn over two times, insert your hook, drop a loop, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now this time, we're going to chain up five. One, two, three, four, five. And turn our work, and we are going to do what is called the double treble. This is a really nice, tall, tall stitch. It makes a really great statement when you use it in a, in a piece. So this time, we're gonna yarn over three times. It's just like the treble, but with one more yarn over. So you yarn over three times, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, 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 four, pull through two, one, two, three, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, I think I split my yarn, it's hard to see with this black, dark yarn, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more time. Search your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. That was one, two, three, four times. See how tall this stitch is compared to the others? Yeah, it's gonna look really great. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue to do this all the way to the end. And, um, well, actually, until you uh, make your piece another six inches long, your piece should total 30 inches long. And then um, when you get to that point, I'll catch up with you then, and I will show you how to attach the two ends together to make it a an infinity cowl. Okay, catch you then. Okay, so here we are at the end of our project. I can't believe it. Already toward the end. Let me go ahead and finish up these last few stitches. And um, I really like this double treble. It comes in really, really handy when you're making um, a very textured item or if you want to have like, a lot of little holes in your item. Even if you want to weave another yarn through it, that'll make it really interesting too. This is a great stitch. I don't use it a lot, but it's one of those specialty stitches. Okay, and here's the very last stitch. And unlike all the other ones, the last stitch in the section, we're gonna go ahead and complete this all the way through. So pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now, this is the time where we're going to attach our two pieces together. Now, let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit so I can show you what I'm talking about. We can make this cowl flat like this and sew it together and it'll be beautiful or we can do what I like to do is twist it one time so you have a little twist in it and then that way it'll lay really pretty once you once you have it on it'll have that little twist to it so that's what we're going to do with this one so, and I'll show you how we're going to attach these two. So what I have is the very, this was the first section you did, the single crochets, and down along here is the edge of your chain. Okay, this is your double treble, and what we're gonna do is we're going to single crochet these two sections together. I'll show you how we do that. I've got both of my pieces together here. Let me turn it to the right direction. Oh, I wanna chain up one, by the way. And turn it around. And what you're going to do is get your yarn 
untangled. You're going to insert your hook into this very first loop right here. Okay, it was the first stitch of your single crochet. And then you're also going to insert it into the first stitch on your dark on your charcoal gray, which was your double treble. Okay, so you've got your hook inserted. You're going to yarn over and pull through both of those pieces. Yarn over and pull through two. You have now made one single crochet. Then you're going to do that again. You're going to insert your hook into that loop and then into your next stitch. Yarn over, pull through and yarn over and pull through two. I don't know what happened to my camera, it's a little crooked. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Insert your hook through there and in into the next stitch. See that little V? Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. This is the easiest way there is to attach two crocheted pieces together is by single crocheting all the way across. It does add a little bit of, of a bump. Sorry about that. A little bit of a bump there, but in this particular case, it's okay. I will use a single crochet whenever I feel I can get away with doing it. Otherwise, you should use like a whip stitch or a mattress stitch um, to join your pieces together. That takes longer, but it usually has a smoother finish. This will have a bit of a ridge, but it's fast, and that's why I like it. So let's go ahead and do this next stitch. I can get my hook in there. This one's kind of tight. And then through there, back through, yarn over, and pull through. And you're going to do this all the way across until you get to the very end, and I'll catch up with you then. Okay, so here I am. I'm at the end of the very last stitch, my very last single crochet and I'm going to show you how to finish this off. You're going to go ahead and complete this stitch. So there's your last single crochet. And then you want to go ahead and do one chain. And tighten that up. Then you can snip your yarn and you want to leave it a little long. Leave your yarn tail a little long because you are going to you know, going to thread your yarn needle and you're going to um, go ahead and weave this in through the stitches so you won't see the tail. All right, now I'll show you how to do that. Oops, I threaded it too soon. Let's pull this out first. Then you thread your needle. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to, since you've got one color on one side and another color on the other side, whatever your thread is, you want to thread it through that same color so it's not as noticeable. This is going to be a little tricky because it's dark, so I'm going to try to do it up close. What you want to do is just kind of go through a few of these stitches, okay? Pull it through and then go back around in the other direction. I do this three times and that ensures that this yarn is not going to come apart. And then never put your needle back in where you came out because you're just going to undo your work. So go back through. Okay. Pull that and I stretch it once before I snip the yarn. Okay, and stretch it out so that 
that one's hidden. There should be one more over here. This one is a little shorter, and I'm going to show you this this neat little trick that I just learned hmm, maybe six months ago. Whenever your yarn is too short, let's say it was maybe that short, and it's too short to actually get a needle on there and then thread through. What you want to do is you want to grab your needle and with the eye of the needle, go ahead and thread it through. And then grab your tail. do is you could just thread that through and you get it across. Okay, I do have enough yarn that I can go ahead and do this correctly. So I can go ahead and go through these and see if I can do it one more time. Don't think I can this time. And stretch it out and then snip my yarn. Okay, this cowl is complete. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna fold this in half and it'll look really, really pretty. Let me try to move the camera back a little bit so you can see. I'm gonna stand up. And you can see that it has all these really pretty colors, all these really pretty stitches. And, you know, however you throw it on is however you want to throw it on. And it's going to look great for the winter time. Um, you can see the beautiful single crochet, then your half double crochet, your double crochet, your treble, and your double treble. All five of these stitches are very, very basic stitches that you're going to be using in every single crochet project that you do now on for the rest of your life. So um, this is a great, great project to learn from the very beginning. I mean, you learned how to do your basic stitches. You learned how to attach new yarn. You learned how to sew your two pieces together and you learned how to weave in your ends. So this is a perfect beginner project and it is all done and I am so proud of you. Thank you very much for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a great day.